Hi there guys, uh, this is Sue here. I know I haven't been here for a while, but due to other commitments, things just, uh, you know, drags on or passes by and you realize you haven't done a video. But here I am today, um, just a very quick one actually, just to explain to all you uh, plant buyers, either of me or somebody else out there, it's one of the things that you need to uh, look out for when you take your plants home. First of all, when you purchase a plant, normally about a 10 centimeter pot that usually has an issue with, uh, or 13 centimeter pot, which is, this could be about 13 centimeter pot or 10 centimeter pot. Now the plant here is a dragon's tail, um, a, a premium uh, penatum. Uh, I'm just going to talk about what to look out for. So when you get this uh, plant home, just dig out and see if this plant has a plug. You, have, you must have heard that um, the word plug. So I can see there is a plug. So what I'm going to do is remove this plant out and have a look. Right, so take it out, as you can see, here is the plug. This is the um, netted material. It is supposed to be de decomposing material and meant to decompose. But a lot of the times, as you can see, this particular plant is really struggling to, um, to take its roots out of this plug and um, trying to survive and a lot of the times you may find your plants have uh, died or have died and it is because due to this plug because the roots just cannot um, get out of it to be able to have a good root foundation for this plant so what i normally do is literally remove all the soil and the soil is also rather as you can see it's <laughs> made out of old peat moss. Uh, the growers seems to enjoy um, putting their plants into peat moss uh, so that they don't have to f feed them with water all the time. Don't forget a lot of these plants are under controlled, uh, grown under controlled environment, controlled temperature, watering system, feeding system um, to let the plants grow as quick as possible so that we we as uh, <coughs> retailers uh, buy of them. Now, first of all, you take all this soil out, remove all this peat moss because that's really not good for the plants anyway. A lot of people like peat moss. I'm not a great believer of peat moss, complete 100%, because I think, um, number one, you've got to look uh, for what the plant has got, um, what type of... Um, you know, especially trying to remove these and see. Now I've got to remove this because this is just constricting the plant and it's very hard to remove because this plant a little bit overgrown. I did one on a Makoyana Calathea and that was a good video, but for some reason, uh, YouTube were having a lot of issues uh, of uh, uploading my video a couple of weeks ago. So this is why I'm doing um, a different one. This is what it is that you've got to remove and I have removed it, cleaned this plant and taken a lot of peat moss out and uh, now what I'm going to do is put my soil, the soil that I prefer is premium quality soil with cacti, succulent mix, a bit of orchid mix just a little bit and mix them all in with the uh, some sort of fertilizer like I like to use dynamic lifter because it is a natural product and it, it, it's really nice for the soil to have those sort of natural product. Now I'm going to now repot this plant so it can um, perform better. I have removed as much as the, 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 as you can see there's no netting there. It was surrounded by this thing and plants normally it, it just constricts the plant growth really. So now I'm, I'm putting on the new soil that I like, all those mixtures as I've said, premium quality, a succulent and cacti mix. And if you like using perlite, that's okay too because it just helps with airing and also helps with uh, good drainage. 
So I, I personally don't use as much uh, perlite because my perlite is actually cacti and succulent mix. That, that does the job just as much as the perlite because of the expense of it. Imagine using perlite and everything. Now here's the repotted plant. So now it should grow better. It will spread its roots out better. It will get its nutrients better, unlike this constricted by this uh, netted stuff there, so-called plug. Now I'm going to uh, finish off here because it was a short video just to see what to look out for when you purchase in your new plant. Bye for now and see you later.